The Grassini rider suffered a fracture in his left index finger as well as big bruise in his ribcage, but despite the hit he was declared fit to ride tomorrow. Talking about his most scary crash of the year so far, Marquez said, The feeling with the bike was good, but it's obvious that the afternoon crash has had a great impact on this first day here at the Saxon Ring. I'm not worried about the fracture in my finger, but the bruise to the rib cage is surely the one bothering me the most and that also prevented me from continuing the session. Now it is time to rest and tomorrow morning we'll see what my physical condition is. It's crazy second crash of the day for Mark Marquez, because this one was huge. The number 93 suffered a massive high side in his most favorite track, Saxon Ring, at turn 11. The eight-time world champion suffered a fracture in his left index finger as well as big bruise in his ribcage, but despite the hit he was declared fit to ride tomorrow. Mark Marquez has had one of the most critical moments of the day at Saxon Ring. In a Grand Prix where there were high hopes for the performance of the Catalan rider, the first contact has been devastating. During the two practice sessions, Marquez has fallen in both. The first of them, in free practice one, was without physical consequences. However, the hard blow in the MotoGP practice does bring with it several collateral effects. The sporting one is that this Saturday he will have to go through Q1 to try to fight for pole. In the physical aspect, it seemed that the fall would only be a scare, but no Dr. Charty confirmed a pain in his side, later, it was confirmed that he also has a small fracture in a finger. Marquez himself started the day knowing how difficult it would be to get to the level of Peco Bagnea and Jorge Martin. However, the reality is that the falls show how Mark has pushed himself to the limit to face his rivals. We can't help but deny that we're coming to a circuit that's good for my riding style, historically good, so my prediction is that by having a proper weekend, nailing the starts and riding well, we can have a chance of making things difficult for Peko and Martin. But, at the moment, both Peko and Martin, if we go by the last few races, are a step above everyone else, Mark summed up last Thursday. Mark Marquez, with a small fracture in a finger the sequence of Marquez's second fall had a very peculiar backstory. First, because as soon as he fell he returned to the pits and, without any problems, he took his other bike and set the fastest time in the classification at that time. Then, it is true that his record was beaten by many riders, but the fact of suffering a hard fall and, as soon as he got out again, going so fast is within the reach of very few. After that, Marquez decided to stop. He did not feel well and preferred a medical checkup. Dr. Charty appeared to take a first look. The conclusion was positive, so he was given the fit to continue competing this weekend in Germany. Mark has a strong right rib contusion, but it does not affect the bone part. We have done five radiological projections and there is no rib fracture, at all. We are going to subject him to physiotherapy and anti-inflammatory treatment, but we rule out any type of rib fracture. A significant rib contusion, with a small contusion hematoma. Small fracture in the first phalanx of the index finger of the left hand. Tomorrow he will undergo infiltration and anesthetic patch. The fracture is very small, without importance, Dr. Charty tells DeZone and as.